In this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at how now to put together all the parts from our different modelling pieces that we've put together previously. <coughs> previously I had the upright, you can see that just here, and before that we made the base. So let's look at how we, uh, we do an assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking on New, just here, and rather than making a part, this time I'm going to use an assembly, so I'm going to double click on that. What I've now got is the uh, the assembly interface. You can see at the moment here on the left-hand side, also in SolidWorks, I've got my upright piece open. Uh, what I actually need really though to start myself off is my base. So I'm gonna browse, and I've got my base part just here from before, so I'm gonna double click on that. And what then happens is I get my base just here. So I'm gonna just uh, take that into the middle of the screen, and I'm gonna click the mouse once, and that'll put that in position, and that's now dropped, and that's sort of locked on the floor in my assembly, ready for me to click more parts onto. So, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to click on Insert Components, and I'm going to grab that upright, that's already open, so I'm going to grab that. I'm just going to pop that slightly out of the way, I don't really want it in line at the moment. Uh, so I've got my two pieces here, and I can see them both. In order to make this fully defined, what I need to do is to arrange things so that this can't be moved around anymore, to lock it to the rest of the model. And so the way we do that is using this tool here called Mate. In order to make things together, you choose a surface on each of the two parts, and that tells the computer you want those two things to be locked together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the computer that when I would take this surface here, I want it to always, always, always be locked to the inside edge on the base, the part that runs just on there. You can't see it at the moment. So to spin the model around, I'm going to click and hold down the middle mouse button, and that lets me rotate that model. Now I can see that face. I'm going to zoom in on it a bit as well just to make sure I get that by rolling the mouse wheel. And I can then click once just here. And click OK. What I've now got is I can still take this part and I can still move it around but now no matter what I do the part always runs along that edge like that. So let's lock it down a little bit more. I've still got my mate tool turned on so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this model upside down and I'm going to tell the computer that what I want to do is I want this piece of the model here and this piece of the model here to always, always line up. You can see the computer's brought that down. And I'll click on the green tick. So, still got the ability to move this model around, but it's now constrained, it's now held down in two different dimensions. So that as I try and take this piece and click and drag and pull it around, it always, always moves along that line. So I've got one left, uh, one thing left to, uh, to constrain one last direction of movement. So my last piece is going to be to say that I want this piece of the model here and spinning it around a bit, zooming in, spinning it some more, and that surface there to also be locked together. And click on the tick. So uh, I'm done with the mate tool for a second, so I'll click on the tick to make that go away. So what I've now got, if I look at the bottom of the model, is it's fully defined. If I just change the camera angle for a second, I can't pull that around anymore. That's locked in. And in fact, as I try and move it around, the computer tells me the selected component is fully defined and cannot be moved. So that part's locked in. Uh, I'm going to insert another component now. Uh, it turns out the way I designed my product was that I was going to use uh, a couple of these uprights. So I'll take this one. Uh, and again now the same process happens again. So I'm going to do uh, grab my mate tool and I'm saying that this surface and this surface they need to line up and I want this surface and this surface to line up and to finish off <coughs> this surface and this surface to line up. And click on the tick. And click on the tick. Once again, we're back to being fully defined. Just spin that model around. And now that model is completely, completely locked together. So the computer fully understands exactly what I'm trying to achieve. All my surfaces are all completely flat. You can look straight through there, look. And that model's now complete. And if I wanted to, I could take the parts from this and I could actually export those and drop them into Textsoft 2D and manufacture the parts. So that's how you do an assembly.